What's up everyone, in honor of finally getting to see the latest Spider-Man movie, I'm going to be designing my own Spider-Man Bluetooth speaker from scratch. After a quick search across Google, I found that most Spider-Man designs had a sort of kiddish feeling to them, and I thought that we could really elevate the design here. Since I'm going to be making this on my Glowforge laser, all I really need to do is design all the sides individually, and then make sure that all the dimensions match up. Here, I'm creating the front layer which will have holes that will fit 2 and 3 quarter inch speakers and you can see that I'm placing these offset near the bottom and you'll see why later. Now, I'll go ahead and extrude this and this is just for visual checks since I only need SVGs of the sketches to be used on the laser later. For the main Spider-Man design, I took a Spider-Man face graphic and just sketched along all the lines making sure that the eyes lined up with the speaker holes. Same thing for the back, except this is just one simple hole at 1 and 7 8 inch diameter right at the center. Now, here's something I thought would be a cool addition. If you watch the Avengers series, you know that Iron Man was the one that brought Spider-Man to the Avengers. The cool thing is, the reds in their colors are really similar. So, I'm going to take this SVG of the proof that Tony has a heart and just add it to the backside of the speaker. Finally, I'll cut out some simple rectangles for the sides, top and bottom, and the separators inside of the box. I'm going to export all the SVGs and hit go to cut all these out of my Glowforge laser. And I've decided to use MDF sheets here to make it easy to paint it and put it all together. Now, I'll lay everything out of my bed of nails here and start spray painting all of the colors. I actually did end up using a white primer for most of these colors, just so that the colors would really pop out on the MDF sheets. The red took a few extra coats because it kind of mixed too much up with the white and I really didn't want this to look pink. And the letter cutouts here were probably the hardest because the spray paint kept blowing it all over the place. Okay, so now I have all of the pieces all painted and dry and ready to be put together. So, so I'm gonna take this speaker kit that I got from Rockler. So this is a wireless speaker kit. It comes with two different speakers and then a control that you can charge and then connect Bluetooth. So that's gonna end up pretty cool. When I designed this, I actually had it cut out so that the speakers should fit right inside, just like that. Not, it's like perfectly snug, look at that. Look how well that worked out. But for inside of the actual eye area, because I want this to be white but not to mess with the music quality, I actually have, I have these. These are just dryer sheets um, because I don't have anything else lying around, but it actually works out pretty well. You can see that the black speaker won't show at all through it, and that's what I'm trying to get at. I want the eyes to really look white at the end of this design. Let's get to putting everything together. To attach the dryer sheets, I actually decided just to staple them onto the back and this worked out pretty well.
And then for attaching all of the MDF to the speakers and to each other, I actually just used a quick set thick CA glue, which worked out pretty perfectly to reduce any dripping and everything held together really well. I had to use these tweezers to attach each letter because they were so tiny and I had to make sure that they were placed in a really specific way for this design. I was surprised when I found out how well this box ended up staying together just from CA glue. I thought I would have to use brad nails as well, but it really worked out way better than I thought. Now, this part was a bit tricky. I had to insert the separators inside, route the speaker wire through, and then try to connect the speaker wires to the control in a really tight space. But luckily, I was able to do this after just a few tries. Now, time to close this box up and add the main piece. And because I put this design together overnight and built it quick, I forgot to think about a good solution for a handle. So I took this leftover cop wire I had around my shop and I bent it into a handle shape. And I just drilled and attached this to the top. I 
after adding a touch of CA glue, this held together really well. And then we're all done. If you guys enjoyed this, please consider subscribing for more. And thanks as always for watching.